<laughs> Did I forget to tip the bartender? You were right. That wasn't a date. No kidding. I wanted information on Alvarez, and I used your interest in me to get it. OK, well, like I said, that makes me feel a little better. You know, most women don't bear trap my wrist when I touch them. I had someone, too. And I lost him. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. I just wrote off our flame out as you never letting a guy win at anything. <laughs> I mean, darts, pool, what are you not good at? Dating. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's clear after tonight. And I still owe you one. OK. So how about we get the interview out of the way for that date? Because I'd rather leave Alvarez home next time. So what do you want to know? I'm looking into the attack on David Clark. One of the attackers was arrested and taken to your precinct. Yeah, I know. The guy killed himself. You don't think that he did? I think someone killed him. I think someone who had access to him. Someone who's working for the people who are after David Clark. What is it with you and David Clark? His daughter means a lot to both of us, so he means a lot to me. And if Alvarez is working for the people who are trying whoa, to hurt whoa, him... Whoa, hold on. Whatever it is that's going on here, I can assure you, Alvarez has nothing to do with it. He's not dirty. He's the only person with the power and the access to cover it up. Yeah, but not the opportunity. I ran into him when I left your house last night. He was coming from David's beach house. He gave me a ride home. At the same time, Pete Dunn was being transferred from holding. That it was someone else? Except that it's not. The guy was in a high-security interrogation room, right? No one else had access to that room except Alvarez and the feds. 